Hello, I'm James Heyer. Welcome to Marketing Dividends, where we look at marketing's new and expanded contribution to company growth. I'm joined this week by Amanda Banfield, Managing Director of Mondelez. Uh, not a brand everyone's familiar with. That would be Oreos, Cadbury's, that's right? Exactly. Household brands in chocolate, candy, biscuits. How is marketing contributing to growth at Mondelez? <laughs> you said it very well. Thank you. So we see ourselves as a growth company. We're operating in snacking globally, and our plan is to kind of grow all the categories. So in that sense, everyone's job's growth. But it's really from marketing to kind of spearhead and lead the charge. So they're the ones who work out category by category, what are the big growth opportunities, which brands are we going to prioritise to go after those, and then which kind of technology platforms do we think we should be really focusing in on to continue to win in those spaces. And then marketing is the part of the organisation that will really lead the business through making that opportunity come to life. You've come to the managing director role through marketing. What capabilities have you had to grow or upgrade in order to make this transition? I think it's a question of upgrading and probably just sort of expanding your horizon as opposed to fundamentally doing different things. I mean, I've always believed that to be good at marketing, you've got to care about the total business model. I mean, it's great to have a great brand that people know about. So when they think of a snack, they think of Cadbury, let's say. But if they can't find it in store, because fundamentally there's no supply, or when they actually buy it and then eat it, they're disappointed because the quality is not there, then we failed. So I think as an MD, you've got to be looking across the total business model and making sure that fundamentally the whole processes of the business are working so that we win every day. I think the second point is great marketers are the ones who are commercial. Um, certainly we have an expectation at Mondelez that our marketers do manage the P&L. But I do think generally in the marketing industry, understanding the fundamentals of, the, of which P&L levers you pull is a skill that we probably need to grow. Are there parts of the marketer that you have to leave behind or unlearn in order to successfully transition? I don't think you can ever let go of being obsessed with what your consumers think of you and your brand and real world connection. So you mustn't let go of that. But as I said, you've also got to combine that with an understanding of fundamentally how we make money. And also caring, I think, even more than before about people leadership. It's probably the other really big thing, because in the end it comes down to what the thousands of people in our business do every day to contribute to us winning with consumers and customers. Thank you very much, Amanda. Thank you. I really enjoyed the conversation. And thank you for joining us on Marketing Dividends. For the extended interview, go to doublena.com.au.